Well, you're lucky enough to be um, witnessing Sovereign's first ever presentation on our uh, Rutile projects in Malawi. So um, here we go. We think we've discovered what is potentially a globally significant new Rutile province uh, from, from the grassroots here, from uh, um, grassroots tenements and grassroots exploration work. Okay, what have we got? Multiple Rutile prospects here in Malawi. Um, in 2020, we believe uh, will be a company defining year. We'll be drilling out a number of these prospects to resource. Uh, we've got a huge exploration uh, package there and very large ex exploration upside. It's very strong fundamentals for Rutile. It's a titanium mineral. It's the highest grade titanium mineral. Um, Aluka is one of the world's major producers. Aluka says Rutile is currently in structural deficit and there's no foreseeable um, additional large scale supply coming on. And Malawi, um, it's a smaller Southeast African country, um, but fantastic infrastructure in place and I'll take you through that um, right now. So as I said before, it's the rarest, highest grade titanium mineral. Um, and uh, it forms about 10% of the market uh, overall uh, for titanium minerals. Uh, it's about 95% TiO2. The main use is in the pigment industry. Pigment producers prefer natural rutile because it does not have to be reprocessed like its poorer cousins, ilmenite, or chloride ilmenite and sulphate ilmenite. Um, so it's highly sought after, also has a lot of environmental credentials, uh, much less waste and much less power use than uh, ilmenite. So Malawi, as I said, a uh, relatively small Southeast African jurisdiction, um, increasingly uh, attracting international investment, uh, particularly into the mining sector. Uh, significant potential there for mining and appetite um, to diversify their economy into mining. Um, we've also got excellent infrastructure here. We've got an operating rail corridor right through the middle of our tenements. Our two key Rutile prospects are only 20 and 30 kilometres away from this operating rail line, straight out to the deep water port of Nakala there. So, as I said, we've got a Rutile province in Malawi. Um, today we announced a new discovery, a new discovery of traditional uh, Placer-style Rutile mineralisation, quite high grade, probably comparable uh, to Base's Kwale deposit in Kenya. Um, in addition to that, we had previously identified a relatively new, uh, a new style of mineralisation, and that's in this residual saprolite. So saprolite is this soft weathered material that's quite friable and breaks up in your hand and can be processed the same way that sands are processed. So here's some photos of the two discrete styles of mineralisation on the left hand side there. We have the saprolite hosted mineralisation. This is in highly weathered terrain uh, where we have about 25 metres thickness of this soft friable material. And we're really targeting the, about the top 10 metres of this. It's mineralised from surface. It's enriched right at surface with the highest grades. So zero strip ratio. And on the right hand side we can see there um, our new discovery announced today. This is called the Bua Channel. It's 50 kilometres long. We've drilled eight kilometres of it and we're showing some nice high grade rutile in this channel. It's basically a paleo channel, so an old, uh, an ancient river. And um, yes, it does have a, a, a current day river um, going down that valley, but it's only about 20 metres wide. So um, two distinct styles of mineralisation here. Here's our tenement package on the right hand side here. You see it's, um, it's hard to get a, a, a concept of scale here, but it's 125 kilometres north to south and about 125 kilometres east-west as well, um, obviously with lots of scallops and, and quite complex shapes, but um, a very large ground position. We've got um, four advanced prospects at the moment. Um, in the blue, the blue dot you see is the Bua Channel I was just talking to you about, 50 kilometres long, only drilled eight kilometres of that so far, and we've only announced one um, cross-section so far of drilling results, so we're expecting a huge number of drill results to come in 
um, over the next month or two. And uh, the red dots you see there are advanced uh, saprolite hosted prospects, um, remembering that the saprolite is the um, soft, friable, weathered material, but it behaves like sand in a, in, in a circuit. Here's just some pictures on the left-hand side of the guys working in the field, guys and girls, I should say, working in the field and, and uh, in our on-site laboratory, preparing the heavy mineral concentrates for export and um, analyses. Some um, idea of, of scale of, of some of these prospects. These are our saprolite hosted uh, prospects. Uh, the Casilla prospect um, to the top of that picture there is the largest uh, area of rutile mineralisation we've found so far. Um, it's a soil anomaly this, at this stage. We have done some drilling across it and we're expecting those results very soon. The soil anomaly is the highest soil anomaly we've come across uh, so far in this exploration work. And you can see in orange around it a, num a numerous additional targets as well. And if you just look at the scale of these things, you only need to get a calculator. Um, 2.4 kilometres times, say, 4 kilometres strike times 10 kilometres depth times an SG of about 1.9. I'll let you do that calculation, but you could see that there's very large potential tonnage there. Uh, and some good grades there, you can see those uh, results of you know, around 1% for those saprolite, uh, our initial results from one of our saprolite hosted prospects there. Uh, the channel prospect, Boa, um, it's a vast channel, 50 kilometres in length, um, averaging about 500 metres wide, about four to 10 metres thick. Um, and uh, we've actually just applied, uh, just been granted this new exploration licence, which gives us about 50 kilometres of channel length to, uh, to explore. So that looks like it is a new, substantial, traditional sand hosted rutile deposit. There are not many of these in the world. Sierra Rutiles probably is one of them. Base resources in Kenya is the other. Uh, base, I understand it, have only about three years of reserves left. So real um, um, shortage uh, at the moment and, and larger shortage in this commodity looming. Uh, cross section of the Boa Channel here, um, some of the better results, seven metres at 0.8, including three metres at 1.03, um, five metres at 0.7, including um, a metre at one. These were manual hand auger holes. These were not able to get to the full depth of the channel they get higher grade as you go down hole. We weren't able to reach the bottom of the channel with this style of drilling. Uh, so so what I want, the, the point there is it's getting higher grade towards the bottom of the channel and we have not hit that bottom yet. We've drilled it now with air core drilling. Um, we don't have those results yet, but uh, it looks like it is a large body of rutile mineralisation at this stage. Okay, infrastructure in Malawi, yes, um, it is landlocked. However, we have an operating rail, as I said, that goes right through the middle of our tenements, uh, paved roads, grid power becoming available, established labour pool, and um, plenty of fresh water around for processing. Okay, here's a, a, a graph of um, current production and future project, projected production. Uh, you can see there's a huge supply gap loom, looming and we feel that we can fill some of that space. A couple of our peers I spoke to, uh, spoke about before, uh, Aluka has a huge resource there at Sierra Rutile, about 1.1% grade. Uh, Base has a current reserve around half a percent Rutile with a bit of Ilmenite and a bit of Zircon. So you can see that the grades that we're producing, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.91%, are right in the ballpark uh, of being economic. Uh, just a graph on future pricing there. Uh, we have done some early metallurgical work on our um, saprolite hosted deposits. What we find is we have a very high spec product that um, matches and beats Sierra Rutile and, and Quale in a number of chemical and physical attributes. So very saleable. So what have we got going on now? Um, a lot of drill results coming, um, continued drilling, uh, this year will be a big resource building year for Sovereign. Thank you.